The Harbinger and the Banny share the same goal, to honour the will of Atriox, or at least that's what Eshram told us just over a year ago when Halo Infinite's gameplay was first shown off to the world. But who exactly is this mysterious Harbinger that Eshram mentions? That's the question that a lot of us were left wondering. But not anymore, as with the new campaign overview trailer that we've been shown, we, we've finally shown who the Harbinger is. Yet, a lot of fans are still confused, myself included. I think everyone was having theories on whether the Harbinger could be a prophet or a forerunner or something along those lines. Looking up the description of a Harbinger, it was something to do with a forerunner, it was a forerunner of something. Or like some people speculated that it could be caught on it. I even made a whole video talking about my theories as to who the Harbinger could be. But I don't think anyone was quite expecting it to be a brand new species. But anyway folks, in today's video I'm going to be talking about the Harbinger how they could affect Halo Infinite's story, my overall thoughts on them, and how I'm excited to see them in the game. So how's it going Magpies? I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. So upon seeing the Harbinger, a lot of people actually thought that it may have been the same species as the Prophets, but after closer inspection people found this to not be the case. It seems like the Harbinger might have their own faction, or at least have their own troops being the skimmers that were shown in the trailer. It's possible these could be a new sort of placement for the Prometheans, whether or not they'll be present was still unsure. I do hope the Prometheans come back and I would like to see them in the game, but that's a topic for another day. For now, let's get back to talking to the about the Harbinger. They definitely seem like a powerful looking character. They were agilely moving around Chief and then sort of charged up the hands with some electricity looking energy and punched him teleporting him. Whether or not he's actually teleporting that scene in the game or just hit, we don't really know, but it definitely seems like they're a powerful character. A lot of people were drawing comparisons with the Khan Maker from Doom Eternal and some characters from Destiny like the Vex. And it is clear to see some similar designs, but I do think the Harbinger looks very Halo-esque and has a very cool design. One thing of note is that the skimmers that were shown sort of look like they're emitting a hard light type energy out of their hover pack jetpack things. Not really anything important, but it could show that maybe the Harbinger and the faction that she leads could have links to the Forerunner. Furthering this is how she mentions that the Forerunner's lives are at an end while she's attacking Chief, so I do think they will be linked in some sort of way. To the extent of this, again, we're not yet sure until the game comes out, but it is intriguing to see. It definitely has me very intrigued to find out more about this character. Is she linked to the Forerunner, and if so, how much? How, how much does she know about them? How old is this character? Is she like an ancient character that's been around since the Forerunners have been? She definitely seems like a powerful character, maybe she's using Forerunner technology. But the fact that she looks so powerful definitely raises some questions, the main one being, why is she working with the Banished? Or more so, why does it sound like she's working for the Banished? As Eshra mentions, they're fighting to honour the same goal, uh, to honour the will of Atriox. Why would she be fighting to honour the will of Atriox? That just seems really strange. Has she got some sort of deal set up with them, or is there some other form of manipulation going on here? Is she potentially using the Banished to further her own goals? That's definitely a possibility. As, like I mentioned, she definitely seems quite powerful. I don't really see why she'd want to work for the Banished. But, maybe whatever she requires or desires, she might need the Banished's help in some sort of way to get past that. Maybe she doesn't exactly have a big army, but she is quite a powerful character on her own. But, maybe not quite powerful enough to have taken down the UNSC alone or something like that. Another thing I'm intrigued to see is whether or not she actually played a big part in the downfall of the UNSC. And, considering how powerful she looks, is Chief going to be able to take her on alone? Obviously, we've only seen snippets of the character, but she definitely seems to fill a similar role to the Didact, being this godlike, really powerful entity. I know I'm picking off quite a lot here from just a very minor part of the trailer she was in. She was literally only in it for about four seconds, but it definitely raised a lot of questions. Like I said in my theory video that I made originally, I was sort of hoping she was a forerunner, or maybe they brought the Didact back in some way, I think that would have been really cool, but seeing a new species is definitely refreshing. I mean, the forerunners and Prometheans, they were actually shown off quite a few years ago, Halo 4 is like quite a bit older now, so it's been some time since we've seen a new species. I just hope this doesn't make the game feel overcrowded if the Prometheans 
and Flood are also included, which are both things the fans want to see. But with Infinite having this 10 year plan, I guess not every faction needs to be there straight away or not need, or maybe they don't necessarily need to play a big role in the base game. Like maybe the Prometheans will be there for a little bit, but maybe they won't have a major role in the game and reappear in a DLC. Same with the Flood, maybe they'll only have a minor appearance in the story, but have a DLC revolving around them, that's a possibility. To sort of put the spotlight on the Harbinger and her faction or troops or whatever. She definitely seems like she's going to be a really fun antagonist to fight and I'm really looking forward to getting the chance to face her when the game comes out. But let me know what you think of the Harbinger down below. Do you think she is trying to manipulate the Banish or something like that to further her own goals? Do you think she's a cool character? Do you think Chief will be able to take her on alone? Again, I know we've only seen snippets and I'm probably over I could potentially be over exaggerating her strength or whatever. But it definitely seems like she is quite a powerful character and I am curious to see how we will have to go about fighting it. Anyway folks, I think that's all from me today. I've pretty much said everything I want to say about the Harbinger for today's video. But yeah, that's all from me and I'll catch you in the next one.